Hi, I'm Barry Levinson, and you're watching the Pretentious Film Majors. Hey, Ben Silverio here for ScienceFiction.com and the Pretentious Film Majors. I'm here with Academy Award winning director Barry Levinson. How are you doing today, Mr. Levinson? I'm doing good. It's been a lot of fun. Cool. That's great to hear. So, uh, first question, uh, what makes the Bay stand out from the sea of found footage films out there today? Well, you know, it's interesting. I never thought of it as a found footage movie, but, you know, I guess you have to classify it. Because of what I was thinking of, this is about a, a catastrophic event that happened in a small town. And I said, so if it happened, then how do we know what happened if there was no news available? And then you say, well, from those people who died, they, all, they would have had cell phones, video cameras, they've been texting, you know, uh, FaceTime, Skype, all that type of stuff. So if you collected it, you would get an intimate look into their, their day with this catastrophic event happening that they may not have been quite aware of. And that is an, a, an intimate look that I don't think you could have ever had in any generation in the past. So that's how I, I approach it, sort of like this um, archeological dig in a way, you know? Cool, so you write a lot of the films that you make, uh, but you didn't write this one. What attracted you to the project initially? I was originally approached about doing a documentary about the Chesapeake Bay, because it's 40% dead. <clears throat> and um, I, I got a lot of facts on it, and I thought, well, this is really frightening. But I wasn't sure that was the best way to tell the story. And so I thought, why not tell it as a, I'm a storyteller, tell it that way. And so, you know, make this kind of a movie that scares you and unnerves you, you know, frightens you. And at the same time, it's got like 85% factual information behind it that gives it a credibility. And that's how it evolved. Oh, cool. So The Bay is unlike any film that you've done on your resume. No. How was your first foray into horror? Like, uh, what were some of the challenges that you faced? The challenges that we faced is that we have to find a credibility to it. Because we can't, you can't go from two shots to singles to over the shoulders. You can't do any of that because there's only one camera uh, or a surveillance camera or what I mean you got all these limitations so how do you scare <clears throat> how do you scare how do you create tension when you're working with you sort of have to tie one hand behind your back at times and so then how do you do that and so that that becomes a challenge to uh, so what are some of the advantages of promoting your film at a convention like this one well, I think what we're seeing now is we're seeing a giant convergence. You know, there was a time when film was film, and I was over here, and then comic books were over here, or whatever. But, you know, with this whole internet thing, everything is kind of mixes together in some way. So if you could talk to more people outside the box uh, for your film, you know, maybe that, you know, becomes a way to, to connect. Cool. So you've done a lot of, like, movies with iconic actors, you know, and you've had them in multiple movies. Uh, like Robin Williams, De Niro, who uh, out of your catalog of actors would you love to work with again? Gee, there's a bunch. Uh, the last movie I did, which was, at, which was with Pacino, when we did Kevorkian for HBO, uh, where he won an Emmy, uh, I loved working with him. He was, he was just terrific to work with. But, you know, they're all different. They all bring a different thing to it. And so I, I, I've been very fortunate that I've had a very good time with so many different actors who work in so many different styles. Cool, and finally, um, one of your next projects is uh, about the Gotti crime family. Can you talk a little bit more about that? And no, I really can't because it still hasn't been firmed up yet, so I, I never like to talk about something until it really is oh, cool. a, a done deal, you know? I understand. Well, thank you, Mr. Levinson, for taking some time out. Not at all, I appreciate it.